The cars are all getting underway. This is extraordinary to watch. I need to hop on board the Senna, but just look at this as everything rolls on forward. Set, go! <laughs> Certainly off the line, but the Bugatti looks like it's catching. Sounded awesome though, didn't it there? This is an interesting one then. The all-electric GFG Style 2030, a vision concept for the future, up against Ferrari's LaFerrari, the ultimate Ferrari hypercar. I'm not quite sure how quick this thing is, but of course electric power, instant torque, it's probably going to shoot off the line, you would think, four-wheel drive, versus the LaFerrari with its hybrid system, with the hybrid electric motors combined with the 6.3 litre V12. Interesting, let's see what happens in a second. Ready, set, go! Slightly unfair on the start. But the LaFerrari flies into the lead. Up next though, we have the Pagani Zonda Cinque on this side, Hello. and a Canexeg Agira on the other side. As cars in a line together to go against one another that is um that's right up there with the best of the best this is about to sound insane one of the greatest sounding v12s and uh yeah i guess they're about to be off so let's enjoy go. One, the Zonda sounded glorious. So straight after that, Koenigsegg Regera with Koenigsegg's direct drive, basically 1800 horsepower, well 1500 because it's limited between the hybrid and the combustion engine. Um, but that's going to go very, very quickly. This is also very, very quick. The Koenigsegg one to one with its 1360 horsepower, 1360 kilos, but this is the track car. You can tell that from the gigantic wing that it has mounted out from the roof and all the aero and flicks around the front. But two naked carbon cars to go up against one another in a race. I mean, Koenigsegg one to one and Koenigsegg Regera. We're in for a treat. the Regera took it. You could hear the shifts of the one-to-one, -one, but the Regera just keeps powering through with direct drive. And instantly another Regera. By the way, this car used to be the Cherry Bomb, the red one I drove, well, two, two years ago maybe? And it's going, oh, wing popped out. It's going up against the Huayra Roadster on the other side. But I think the Regera is probably going to be much the faster of these two. I'm getting used to hearing them on full load. That Agira sounds good. That sounded really good. Now these are cool. The Zagato versions of the Ferrari 599 GTB. These are the GTZ Nibio Spider and Coupe bespoke bodywork by Zagato based on the 599, so the Super Grand Tourer of its era with quite a distinct appearance to them. Really, really, really intriguing cars. Behind though, I'm noticing Koenigsegg, Koenigsegg, Bugatti, Pagani. Uh, it's all just bonkers. Oh. Agira X, why are roads still with the roof on? Oh, we've got a jump start. Very loud. I can tell you this SVJ Roadster is deafening and it's against an SLS Black Series so I would expect the four-wheel drive of the SVJ to help big time uh, and probably to keep it ahead because it's 770 horsepower versus 631 and obviously more modern tech in the SVJ. Although saying that, the SLS does have the dual clutch gearbox whereas the SVJ has the automated manual. Oh and then behind we've got Enzo and Purple Senna. I mean it just goes on and on. <laughs> skill to fly like that to film. <laughs> now then, 
Ferrari Enzo versus McLaren Senna. Of course, the Senna is the more modern car, 800 horsepower to 600 odd horsepower, twin turbo V8 to naturally aspirated V12, but Senna lots of downforce. Downforce equals drag in a straight line. It's not so helpful for the acceleration. Almost, if you wanted to get the fastest time, you would have a wing delete in a straight line. And uh, yeah, I suspect if he uses the launch, then Senna's gonna, gonna have this one. I think we'll all be in agreement that the Enzo wins the sound contest, but the Senna definitely won the drag race. It's noisy, but this is cool. Another Senna against an F12 TDF. 780 horsepower at the rear wheels. kilos lighter despite how good the TDF sounded because the heli goes after them as well. Oh this is going to be fun. That is actually the spectacularly loud Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster roof off. That is the Bugatti Chiron Sport Skyview with the glass roof panels. Obviously both cars have a lot of power and all-wheel drive. In this case though 770 horsepower from the 6.5 V12. In this case one and a half thousand horsepower from the 8 litre quad turbo W16. So yeah 770, 1500. You think it's probably going to go one way. About 1500 kilos, about 2000 kilos so we'll see in a second but obviously Bugatti Chiron and behind Carrera GT and Zonda it just gets better and better well the Chiron was off but the SVJ sounded good in fact you can hear it echoing around the mountains. <laughs> That's awesome. Now though, 600 odd horsepower of manual, naturally aspirated V10 in the CGT, and similar kind of power in the Zonda. I'm not sure if that's a manual one, I think it probably is that Zonda F, with Mr. Horatio Pagani at the wheel as well, so this should be... Yeah, sounds awesome. And then behind two more Paganis, it just goes on and on. are all manual or 25 so I think we know the answer to that question nicely done by those guys getting them off the line then we've got the Huayra BC and the Huayra Roadster and the SLR and another SVJ and the Vanquish Segato behind and I think in a moment we might take mine we've got the SLS just here and these that should be coming at some point shortly as well that's also very cool Resto Mod 300 SL from HK Engineering proper race car yeah this is an epic epic lineup of cars of some super convertibles Ready? then. The SLR on the far side, the DBS Volante Ready? on the near side. That's a nice colour it has to be said as well. Set. Go! That actually shows you how fast the SLR is. I think the SLR is actually out in front on that one. It's a surprise, I thought the DBS would have it. <laughs> Senna's definitely catching. On a long run, the Senna has that. The SVJ off the line, though, really fast. Now, we've got the 300 SL race car. Let's listen to that. Pure old school, alongside an R8 Spider. That's an unusual matchup, it has to be said. <laughs> Nearly missed that one. But of course, the R8 is out in front. This time around, we have LaFerrari against Pista Spider. Pista Spider, of course, the hardcore convertible mid-engined V8 car, but you would expect this to go in the favor of the LaFerrari. And... Tell you what, a good effort by the Pista. The LaFerrari is out in front, but that was closer than I thought it might be. It's another share on the green. 722S in this case. The Bugattis are so insanely quick. I mean, you can just see how far ahead it is. Bugatti Veyron Supersport. 1200 horsepower. 
world record speed holder at the time. 268 miles per hour. Again, quad turbo, 8 litre W16, full carbon on this one, one of 48. And next, we're going to have the McLaren M6 GT, which is one of two road cars as it happens. And then we have a Ford GT40. I think the Bugatti won that one. Enzo Ferrari's name versus the Ferrari, a generation between them, a decade basically between them. Huge changes from 600 odd horsepower to over 900 horsepower, 963 in fact in the LaFerrari, but still so epic together. Iconic cars. And then behind, by the way, we've got the one to one and a Zomp Cinque. That's going to be the coolest thing. One to one, one of six. Two iconic poster cars from two of the most awesome hypercar brands in the world. Pagani, the Italians, Koenigsegg, the Swedish. And they're about to go <laughs> down the strip together. Set. Thank you. 